Welcome to your first lesson on body language. My name is Patrick Fizowski and I'm the body language expert of Belgium. In this first lesson you will discover how to spot a real smile or a fake smile and what a handshake reveals. Are you ready? So let's jump in. Is this a real or a fake smile? And what do you think about this one? Is this real or fake? If you have not been able to make a difference between those smiles in just one second, don't worry, you will be able to do that in just a few minutes. So what makes the real difference between a fake and a real smile? From the research of psychologist Shen, we know that it starts with the orbicular oculi muscle. This is a muscle around the eyes, it's here, I'll show it to you, around the eyes and when that muscle contracts the result is, is that the eye cover fold drops just a little bit to the inside of the eye and that's, that's also why you see wrinkles around the eyes and this muscle orbicularis oculi contracts only when there is activity in the prefrontal cortex area of the brain. So, to make a difference between a real and a fake smile, you have to watch the eyes. The eyes tell always the truth. So, if you see wrinkles, if you see the contraction around the eyes, then you know that it's a real smile. So now it's easy for you to know whether this is real or fake this is a fake smile, you see a nice smile with, with teeth, but there is no contraction around the eyes. What about this one, real or fake? Obviously fake and you know why. Is this real or fake? <laughs> this is a joke, we are just speaking about eyes and here you see only a mouth, so the answer is I don't know, because you can't know the difference between real or fake if you don't see the eyes. Is this real or fake? Clearly a real smile. You see clearly the uh, wrinkles around the eyes. Is this real or fake? Now this is something totally different. This is not a smile, this is a total different emo emotion which we'll cover in one of the next lessons. You will discover that you can see people's emotions like like fear, anger or uh, contempt on somebody's face without that they say any words. So this is not a smile, this is a total different emotion and that's for later. Is this real or fake? This is a real smile, you see the contraction around the eyes clearly. Here we have two smiles, a real and f or a fake smile with the lady and the man, does he have a real or a fake smile? What do you think? Well, the lady, you see nice white teeth, but no contraction around the eyes, so the lady has a fake smile, while the man has a real smile. Real or fake? Really big mouth, but a really fake smile because you see no contraction around the eyes. Real or fake? No contraction around the eyes, so fake. And this one. You're getting good at this. It's really easy now because this is a fake smile and you see it clearly because there is no contraction around the eyes. So now you, ha you know exactly what you have to look for on people's faces when you want to make a difference between a real or a fake smile. So my challenge to you is to go out there and watch people's smiles. This could be your friends, your family, or maybe on TV. Now you can make a very clearly uh, big difference between a fake and a real smile. So body language is about exercising body language. You'll get better and better day by day. So watch closely every smile and have a lot of fun with it. So let's have a look at the handshake. What does a handshake reveal? The handshake you see on the screen now where the hands are actually uh, mirroring each other. There is not any hand on top or below the other one. So in this position this is an equal handshake. When 
one of the hands shifts down or up, there is a difference in uh, position of the two persons. In this case, the person on the left has the dominant position because his backside of his hand is very clearly seen on top. And this is something that politicians try to achieve on a picture or on TV to be on top and to give a dominant handshake. And the opposite is also uh, possible, where here on the right side, the person on the right side is subordinate toward the other one. And the, the initiation of this dominance or subordination can come on the initiative of, of one of the two parties, but it is important to keep in mind and, and to be keep attention to that a handshake tells a lot about the person. In this case, right now, in this course, we are not going to cover different kinds of handshake or strong, weak handshake and so on. That's uh, for a different time. But I'd like you, the next weeks, to watch the handshakes that you get. Now, might you get a dominant handshake from somebody and you're in a position of, for example, a manager and you don't want to accept that um, dominant handshake, what you can do is counter that by doing a step forward and or holding the upper arm of the person that is giving you the dominant handshake. So this will help you to counter that dominant handshake and in the end come out as the winner. And this is what you see presidents doing to Obama doing very often in, um, in, in interviews and meetings where he gets a dominant handshake from another person and then gives some taps on the back and so on to show that he's in charge, that he's the dominant one. So your exercise for coming week is to watch every handshake very, very closely. How does it feel? Is it a dominant or a subordinate handshake? Is it strong or is it weak? What could it mean? What kind of personality is there behind that handshake? Probably. And how do you feel with it? How is your handshake? These are all questions that I would like you to ask yourself during the coming week. And you'll be, we get a lot of persons to our co courses uh, on body language that come and that uh, they, they expect that after a weekend they will be masters in body language. Well, th this is not the case. Body language is about exercising and exercising. And this is why we are doing these courses this over uh, spread over two months because you will be able to practice on the way and see more and more and more. So the challenge for you is to get involved, get started with it and pay attention very very closely to every single handshake you give, to every single handshake you get. And this will help you. It, it might seem for, for you at this stage like, oh I already do that, I already know it and so on. Well, it seems like that. But if you focus more on it, if you start to ask your questions, uh, your questions to yourself, what what does that person try to tell me with his or her handshake? W what kind of personality would that person have? Or what does that handshake mean if I would be in the shoes of that person? These are all very different questions that you can try to answer with every single handshake. And you'll discover that this course is not about um, just having a little bit of information and just knowing everything. This is more about experiencing, more about doing and becoming a real master in body language by practicing it. So that's my challenge to you, to get involved with it, to start doing it and pay attention to it and you'll get better and better at it very, very quickly in a period of a few weeks time and you, you, you'll you just be astonished when you look back on it. So, the topic for next week will be what you can see in 
the eyes. And the eyes are very, very fascinating because the eyes work on a subconscious way. You, you cannot influence what happens with your eyes. So the eyes tell really a lot of things. And this you will discover on the, the e-course lesson of next week. Looking forward to see you soon.